Hey guys, Phantom Zeton X18 here with another video, and today I got something different a Transformers toy review. Yay! Now, today we're gonna take a look at the Earthrise Starscream. I really like this figure so much. I really do. I really love Starscream himself. So, yeah. I mean, sorry that sounds weird to you, but yeah, it works. Now, before we take a look at this figure, let's take a look at the package he came with. Oh yeah, uh, never mind. Uh, let's just get right to the figure. Uh, if you don't know where the package or what happened to my package, uh, I put it somewhere and yeah, I just I can't. I don't have the time to like move around or move a bunch of stuff just to get the package. Just look for it online. So, anyways, let's take a look at this figure really up close and let's take a look at the details. Hasbro managed to put it in this figure. Uh, now let me just get this put camera to focus and. There you go, and now let's zoom in. Now, I really like this head sculpt. Very nice. It looks a lot like the original Starscream himself. I like that black helmet design he has. Of course, I grew up with the Michael Bay version of Starscream, and after looking at this version of Starscream, I like this Starscream design more. I like how, like, blocky he looks. And yeah. So yeah, overall, he has like nice details all around his body. And nice design on the, the legs as well. Very rem reminiscent of the G1 design. And his arms has also been like detailed really nice. Look at that. And yeah, let's take a look at the back of the figure. Uh, the back is kind of a mixed one because of this cockpit. I mean, to be honest, what's so hard about taking this, uh, the cockpit and then moving it right there in the middle of the chest? Isn't that how the original, um, Seekers or Starscream, like, transform? I mean, what's so hard to recreate that, honestly? Anyways, now, um, his weapons, uh, before the set and the background falls, let me just straighten it up a bit. Uh, hang on, okay, hopefully that doesn't fall. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so yeah, let's take a look at the side weapons he has. So yeah, he, these things came separately, I think. I, I'm not, I don't remember. And yes, these things have been nicely detailed. Sorry if you cannot pick it up because I'm using a flashlight on my iPhone and... Yeah, I mean, you can see it right here. So yeah, he has two of those and that's it, pretty much. Now, articulation. Um, he has uh, quite a lot, but not too much as the Siege version. His head is on a bolt joint so he can like, you know, like, look up, look down, and rotate and stuff like that. His arms can move uh, this far. And his, um, I mean, if you hold this part of the figure and then move this, he, this thing can move like a um, 360. And I think he has a double jointed, um, no, he only has a one joint on elbow. The hand cannot move because it's a uh, transformation, but uh, you can move it like this. Like that if you want to. So, same goes with the other arm. So the legs, I mean this leg right here, hang on, can move like, uh, let me just move this. He can do the um, this far. It's not the full splits. He can move uh, his, uh, hang on, let me show you on a uh, different angle. He, he can move his leg like this, but due to the skirt, do this is Kurt piece, um, if you move it up, then he can like kick freely or kinda, but yeah, not too much. Jeez. He also has um ankle uh, joint. That much. Because of these wing pieces. Alright, let's do some size comparisons. Here he has next to Studio Series Revenge of the Fallen. Starscream. As you can see the size, um, you can see the difference right here between these two. And here he is with the Earthrise Wheeljack. I think that scale works so well. Works well. But yeah. So yeah, guys, uh, that's not that much articulation for Starscream here. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, yeah, he can like move his. Knee, um, he has a knee joint as well, and stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah, not too much to talk about articulation with this figure, mainly because it's just um, an upscaled uh, Classics or... I don't know, I think Classic Starscream, I, I don't remember. But the thing is, I mean, at least I like how he has that 
G1 uh, jet design and stuff like that around him. I wasn't a big fan of that alien jet that he had in the Siege version, but at least I have a Starscream uh, G1 looking figure and yeah. But you can still get into get him in some cool poses and stuff like that. Like, I mean, look at this one. Who doesn't say that's a good pose? Hang on. There you go. Who doesn't say that looks like a good pose? Tell me. Just look at that. The details around him makes him shining. Or just shine this figure a lot. And stuff like that. Now, um, transformation. It's very simple and quite um, fun. So before you do the transformation, you're gonna have to like you know remove these two uh, weapons first because they kind of like you know block some parts of the transformation. So how do I start? Um, the arms first. Um, so this is got this is kind of complex for the arms because I think you're gonna have to like do this and then uh, what, was, what was next? Oh here, look at this. You're gonna have to move this piece. And yeah. And I think you. Mm, I think you. Uh, hang on. Sorry, it's been a while since I transformed this figure in a while. As you can see, you need to move this thing. I think so, like this. Like that. So that way, uh, it just looks like he's missing in like um, an arm or, yeah. So yeah, let me do the same thing for this side too. Uh, like that. There you go. I hope the camera picked that up well. Now, next, you're gonna have to like untab these uh, two things right here. Uh, how, this is how you do it. Uh, let me just. Uh, it's hard to do it when the camera's in front of your face. All right. I think you're gonna have to like pull these like that. Yeah, like that. Yeah. You pull that when you hear the clicking sound. Um, you're gonna have to move this back. And now, the, as you can see, the body kind of deforms right there. And as you can do right here, you can do this. I think. Uh, hang on. I think it's like this. Or I forgot. How it oh yeah, before you move the arms, um, first you gotta move the cockpit. Now ah, this is how you do it. Watch. You move, you take this, um, the nose cone of, or the nose of the, the, the jet, move it up, and then you can move the arms down. Yeah, this does give me some type of like an old Transformers toy um, vibes. Because the new ones doesn't transform like good like these ones do back then. As you can see, you take the cockpit and then like connect it together. And then I think you, uh, hang on, you think you need to rotate, rotate this thing. And then move it up, and then plug everything back. And there you go. And but on this part right here, you're gonna have to put connect the cockpit and uh, the part of the the main body of the jet like that. Next, you move the wings. Um, uh, here's like a big disclaimer: you're gonna they're, these things are gonna pop off. A lot, so I kind of recommend not putting the wings first, but do the legs first. Now, here's how you do the legs. Um, you take this piece out, you move it up, and move the skirt first, so it can like fit in. Do the same thing for this side, and then connect it. Oh yeah, and connect the back pieces too. There, there you go. As you can see, you move these. Uh, you move the toes, and pretty much like this. And then you move, connect. Uh, as you can see right here, there's a little slot right there. Yep. And then you move the fin and connect it like that. Fold down the wings. Do the same thing for the other side. Just connect that, and then fold out the wings. And now here's where the things pop off. 
Watch this. Darn it. Damn it. What I recommend doing is just move the wing, I mean, pull back, or just pop it off in general, then connect it back. Pretty much parts forming. Nah, I see why. There you go. And now we have Starscream in his um, jet form. And that's why I got the Earthrise Starscream, because this is how I want my Starscream to look like. His jet form, which looks really nice. Very, very accurate to the G1 cartoon. Now you can give him his blasters. Uh, hang on, uh, got them right here. Now you can give him his blasters. You can connect it anywhere. You can connect it uh, right there. Uh, hang on. You can uh, connect it like this and put one right here, put one over here. And yeah, if you want to. Or you can connect them in the, or for some reason in the legs. Where are these? Uh, there you go. There you go, that's how it looks like. Kinda lame, but it will, you can like portray it as a machine gun or something like that. But here's how I really do it, or how the uh, everyone does it. They connect it on the... Um, they connect it on the, the wings. And there you go, that looks a lot better in my opinion. So yeah, I really like this uh, jet design. Uh, I haven't seen a G1 cartoon yet. Uh, I will eventually, but I really like this jet design. It's kind of a bummer that uh, Starscream in the movies didn't look like that. So yeah, really nice jet form. Now, um, oh yeah, I forgot, uh, forgot about the skirt piece. Um, now, this looks really nice. Now, um, he has no landing gears on the bottom of the his jet form. But what you can do is um, fold out the bottom uh, toes instead, um, yeah, or maybe the skirt, maybe if you want to. Maybe that can be like landing gears or something like that. It does stand still, but unfortunately the skirt piece is actually uh, painted. It's not molded plastic, it's actually painted, so might as well just leave the toes up, like, leave the toes up. Hang on. Jesus, camera! Like, damn. There you go. That fits better. And prevents uh, your skirt piece from scratching paint. Now, uh, let's do some size comparisons in terms of vehicle mode. Alright, here he is next to Earthrise Deluxe Wheeljack. I'm not sure if this is a great scale in terms of like real life vehicles, but I'm pretty sure a jet could be like like this size. I'm not sure to be honest, but hey, at least that's scale. And here he is with Studio Series Movie One Starscream. So you can see the differences between these type of these two type of jets. Yeah. Now, what do I think about this figure overall? Overall, this figure is really nice. I really love it. I really love the Earthrise um, Transformers Star... I mean, not Stars. <laughs> the Transformers Earthrise toys. And I will collect all of them. I'm trying to collect all of them so that way I can have like an entire G1 cast. Maybe I could do like a stop motion of the 86 movie or some scenes in the G1 cartoon when I start watching um, G1. I don't know, we'll see. So yeah, this Starscream figure is really nice, added to your collection, if you're a Starscream fan or a huge Transformers fan, you should really get it. The articulation may not be too much, but hey, at least the figure overall is really good and decent. Now, um, I got this figure from Target, so maybe check your targets if they have any and stuff like that. Or maybe um, order it online if you cannot find it. And yeah, hope you guys like this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video, and I'll see you guys in the next video, and have a nice day.